On January 21st, 2022, Valve made a little announcement about anti-cheat, more specifically EAC and BattleEye. They have now made it easier for devs to support the Steam Deck. It's made to be a simple process. The anti-cheat SDK doesn't need to be updated, nor do game binaries. And best of all, devs no longer need to implement Epic Online services. So I ask you, my Linux faithfuls, are you ready to play online? If you like my content, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and join my Discord server in the description below. Online multiplayer has been the bane of Linux gamers since antiquity. It's very rare for a competitive multiplayer game to be available for Linux players, at least without jumping through a billion hoops. And with anti-cheat being more important than ever, Linux users can't even play with their Windows brethren. And so they all just kind of accepted their fate, at least until Valve came up and showed us the way. If you watched my prior video on Steam Deck and the anti-cheat dilemma, then you'll know that there's not a lot of games that have anti-cheat that support Linux. And while that may be true at the time of filming, it seems that Monday, January the 24th, everything will change. According to this article on Steam, they've basically announced that there's a new way to add Steam Deck support to your existing easy anti-cheat games. It doesn't require updating your games, your anti-cheat SDK, and best of all, it doesn't require integrating Epic Online services. This combined with BattleEye means that both of the biggest anti-cheat services can now be supported on Proton and Steam Deck very easily. At least according to Valve. As of the time of this filming, it's only been about three and a half hours, so I'm not really expecting much right now. I'm sure something will happen by the time I upload this video. So what's this hubbub about Monday, January the 24th? Well, that's when Valve starts to submit Steam Deck verified test data. For tested titles that use anti-cheat, developers will see their Steam Deck verified test scores. They'll get to see if they fall under verified, playable, or unsupported. Valve will give developers the opportunity to publish their Steam Deck compatibility rating. If devs aren't satisfied with the results, they can submit a new build for review. After the second round of compatibility review, the data will be automatically published on a game's page. Valve is basically giving developers a chance to rectify their mistakes and make their games verified, if they so desire. Do keep in mind that Steam Deck compatibility ratings are never permanent and are subject to change at any point in time. Linked in the article is documentation. This documentation shows developers that are using Easy Anti-Cheat and BattleEye how to add Steam Deck support easily. For EAC, it's as easy as going to the partner website and enabling Linux support from your dashboard. And then you download a EAC library file and you add it to your game. You don't even update the binary itself, you just add it to your files and then you publish it on the depot. That sounds extremely easy. And for my BattleEye developers, it seems like it's even easier. All they have to do is email their Valve or BattleEye representative for details. This is consistent with their prior article that Valve published. In there, they mentioned that all that BattleEye developers have to do is email their BattleEye rep. This is excellent news, not just for my Steam Deck faithfuls, but also my Linux faithfuls as well. Ah, finally. Linux gamers can finally show off their chops. They can show off how good they are, or how bad they are, really. Also worth mentioning is that in this documentation, Valve says that they have been working with most anti-cheat technology providers to provide compatibility with Proton, and that you should reach out to your vendor and Valve for support. Easy Anti-Cheat and BattleEye are the biggest anti-cheat providers, but they're not the only ones. Plenty of Korean MMOs and a few Japanese MMOs use these exotic anti-cheats. Anti-cheats like NProtect GameGuard and Zynecode 3. If NProtect cooperates with Valve, that means Fantasy Star Online 2 can be playable on the deck. There's also a couple of Zynecode 3 games on Steam. One of my favorites being DJ Max Respect V. That said, I wouldn't hold out for support for games outside of Steam though. Like Fortnite, I personally don't think Fortnite will ever be supported on the Steam deck. That is, unless Epic does the unthinkable and release Fortnite on Steam. Same deal with Valorant and Genshin Impact. That said, if Valorant or Genshin Impact were to come to Steam, there may be a chance, maybe, 